Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you don't know or if you're new or if you're really watching this video and this is your first time watching my videos, um, hello, oh my God, my hair, I can't stop messing with it. I'm Alisa Peirani, if you're not subscribed, subscribe now, I'll give you a minute. Okay, no, that, that, that's quick and fast, okay? Quick and fast, quick and fast. Um, but I'm Alyssa Benani. I do vlogs, I do makeup videos, fashion videos, hair videos, all types of videos, whatever videos, and just whatever I feel like uploading videos. Uh, but other than that, this is gonna be a get ready with me video, you guys. So obviously I'm gonna go from glam to trash in a matter of seconds. But I just wanted to come on here and update y'all on life and what's been going on, things that I'm doing, things that have changed or whatever, just to keep you updated because I know I haven't uploaded a video of me talking to you guys in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, you guys. And let's get right into the video. I hope y'all can't hear the echo in my apartment, but I'm pretty sure you can because we don't have anything in here yet. Um, I'm using this lip scrub by LA Colors. This is the brown sugar vanilla scrub. Look, it's so cute. And it's literally just a sugar scrub. It smells just like vanilla and brown sugar. I'm done, guys, scrubbing my lips. They look cute and juicy. To do this, get ready with me because I want to update y'all on everything that's been going on, everything that has changed. Uh, it's been a lot of stuff. I think the last get ready with me. Oh my god, you can really hear the echo. <laughs> uh, I can't wait till our furniture comes in because once everything comes in, you won't be able to hear the echo. Um, but basically, I wanted to just update y'all because I think the last get ready with me I did was a couple months ago, I believe. First thing is first, don't mind my nails, you guys. These are my birthday nails. If you see my birthday vlog, um, I did have my birthday party last month and it's already been a little bit over a month or it's about to be a month since my birthday. So I still have them on you guys, well, half of them, but I have my nail appointment tomorrow because I'm just gonna go soak them off and I'm going to get rid of my long nails for a little bit, just a little bit, give them a break, and then um, I'm gonna book my next set for long nails. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it short and cute. Sometimes I like to go short, sometimes I like to go long. It just depends. The baby's in the room, so that's why you don't hear her and you're not gonna see her because she's watching Sophia. You guys, I did do a couple purchases from Morphe, uh, Elf and BH Cosmetics, I believe, from Morphe got here already. So the next video or the next couple videos, I will, I should be uploading my haul. Black Friday is coming, prices are dropping, you guys, and this is the best time to get whatever you want because they have good deals around like holiday time. So I did do a little shopping of makeup because I need a new makeup for my clients. Uh, I have here, I keep my concealers. So as you can see, I have like different shades of concealer, more foundations in this one. So in this one, you have like the Huda, Too Faced, Maybelline. This one is just random things. So yeah, you guys, this is where like I kind of keep my client stuff. And then right here, I have my powders. So as you can see, the Too Faced, um, Laura Mercier, Beauty Bakery, everything's like that. Kind of. Um, random things that I wanted to show you and talk to you about. So I've been doing a lot of makeup clients, you guys. I am located in the Houston, Texas area, so I do travel everywhere around Houston. Um, excuse me. So I thankfully been having a lot of appointments this month, and I actually like having appointments around this time because everybody likes to do like you know um, glams for you know the holidays or whatever. I can start it with my eyebrows because if not, I'm never gonna start doing my makeup and I look pretty dead. Go ahead and use my new Morphe eyebrow pencil. This is in the color Java. There's changing again, you guys. So my face is getting really dry. My face is like oily, dry, combo, everything, all types of stuff. It just depends. I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick off camera because I think it's gonna take a little while. I already had a pair of lashes that I wore when I went out Sunday. So I'm just gonna wear these again. I am restocking on new lashes, you guys. I'm already sold out on most of them. 
So I have a new lash line that's coming out, like lashes or whatever. And also I am restocking on glues. Um, I am working on, on a bunch of things for my business, you guys. There is nothing, I wanted to talk about this the most because I don't know if y'all follow my business page, which is Alyssa, Alyssa, what the? It's Abby Lashes. Um, I did sell a bunch of stuff. I sold lashes, I sell uh, pigments, eyeshadow pigments, neon stack pigments, glitters, um, glue, what else did I sell? Eyelash tweezers, I sold a bunch of stuff, you guys. And it's nothing but trial and, er trial and errors. Whenever you're doing a business or you're coming out with your own stuff, um, because mostly what didn't sell out, oh, I also have mirrors, you guys. They look like this, look how cute they are. And they're like handheld, so it's really cute for traveling, super soft. I have like 10 of these left. Um, I am gonna come out with new mirrors, mostly pink ones, with the, the other logo that just looks like this, that just says Abby Lashes instead of like this logo of me. Um, because I could tell that these ones didn't really sell out, the ones that just said Abby Lashes sold out. So, yeah, you guys, I had to just see what people liked and what they didn't like, so I know what to buy and what not to buy. Because also, the um, water UV liners didn't sell much, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have those on sale for like three dollars or four dollars, which they're really good, you guys. I love the water liners because you literally just put a little bit of water in it, um, you mix it with a eyeliner brush, and you just have like a color liner but i know that a lot of people don't like colorful liners they don't like colorful eyeshadows they don't know they don't like nothing like that so i know now what stuff to get and what to not get for my business that's gonna sell out or whatever that's gonna sell so business been going good you guys it's been going well if you haven't checked out my business page or if you haven't followed me on my Instagram page to see what stuff I'm going to be coming out with, go ahead and follow me. It's Abby underscore lashes. Okay, I really don't understand why it looks like that. Putting the freaking wrong eyelash on the wrong eye. Oh my God. This is the primer oil from Magic Collection. I got this at the beauty supply store, you guys, and it's really good. I think it's only like $5 or less. It's like really, really freaking, oh. Okay, I need to mix this foundation because no man. I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Creations Flawless Foundation in 2.5 because that Huda Beauty Foundation kind of got dark. I think it's cause that's my summer shade i bought it whenever it was summer So I already finished with like my foundation, my concealer, contour blush, all of it. Um, I wanted to just do that off camera just so like it won't take up time and I won't be talking too much. But now I'm gonna go in with the Ofra highlighter and this is in all of the lights. Let me just block it out. So this is all of the lights highlighter. Look how pretty that is. I got this last year, you guys, and this shit has lasted me forever, like forever. Because I get really frustrated when my hair's not, it's all over my face, so that's why y'all always see me with a bun or my hair up because I'm just a bun type of girl, but I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna go in with this Maybelline. This is like the new ones, this is the Maybelline Super Matte, um, freaking liquid lipsticks, and this is in the color Chai, and this smells so good. The lighting is not really good in my restroom. 
So I'm just gonna probably put you up like this. And y'all just look at me from down here because that's the only angle I look good in right now. Okay, so uh, now that I'm done like kind of drying my hair, I'm just gonna comb it out. You guys, and I also, um, I don't know if y'all remember, but I did cut my hair short um, after I went back to black because my hair was like super damaged and the blonde had broke off a lot of my hair because of the bleach. So I did cut my hair like really, really short. I think it was like right here, I believe. And it has grown a lot, you guys. Like, it has grown a lot. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but it was, like, right here. And it has grown a lot since then. My hair grows really, really slow, you guys. So, to me, I feel like my hair has been growing. Because um, usually my hair will stay short for, like, years and stuff. My hair does not grow. So, for my hair to grow, it kind of makes me happy. Like, even in the back, it looks... is growing but and then my stupid ass wants to go back to blonde you guys your girl want to go back to blonde hair can y'all believe that after everything i went through with blonde hair went back to black now i want to go back to black blonde hair and honestly blonde hair is just me you guys i love blonde everybody loved the blonde on me but i was just like i don't know i get bored really easily so all that like a thousand dollars that i spent on my hair through that year of me being blonde went down the drain because i went back to black like nothing and it took me forever to be where i wanted to be and it looked good but my hair's still a little wet so let me like dry it more so now i'm gonna go my hair it did grow it's getting thicker it looks shiny again it looks healthy i also got a freaking brazilian blowout so i feel like that one helped because I didn't have to put too much heat on it. But I got it done like three, four months ago. So now it kind of wore off. Because you do have to go every three months to get it like retouched or whatever. If you haven't watched my video, I will be uploading my reacting to my first YouTube video, you guys. And this YouTube video is not on. I have it on private. So nobody can see. So I want to react to it and show you guys. And this was probably like five years ago. Because I started my YouTube channel about five years ago when i was no like six years ago like when i was 15 yeah 15 because i'm 21 now so about five and a half years ago um i uploaded my first video but i didn't like it and it was just funny and i want to react to it again because i seen that i still have it and i was like it would be a good video to react and to show y'all my first youtube video So I got my extension is you can see these are absorb brown and they match my hair when I'm in the light mostly so that's why I got them absorb brown and honestly I am thinking of getting surgery next year but I'm like really terrified of getting put to sleep and not waking up because I had a surgery but I had surgery on my knee whenever I was little and I had to be put to sleep and honestly i didn't i wasn't nervous because you know i wasn't ready because they literally told me like count to one two and then literally i only count to like one two they told me to count to three and by the number two i just remember saying two and i just knocked out and i remember just waking up and being in a freaking bed crying so i'm like kind of terrified but i've been looking into doctors and stuff like that for a while now i think it's been like a year i believe I wanted to get my body done. Um, I don't know, I just, I like the gym, you guys. I really like going to the gym, but the gym is not gonna give me the results I want like right now. You know, the gym, you have to be consistent. 
you have to, you know, work your way up to where you want to get to. And honestly, I just want results like today, okay? That's the thing. I want results right now. And I'm not going to get that, obviously, until... You, it, it can happen. It's going to happen. But I'm not going to get that till years down the road. You know, you have to put in the work and all of that. And I just feel like I... I want to have surgery, you know, I already have my kid. Hold up, let me fix this. So the surgery that I want to get is a BBL, you guys. And honestly, I wasn't even thinking about getting a BBL because I do have a pretty, like, what, or whatever. Um, but, like, I might as well just get it done. You know, like, why am I going to pay? Because I wanted to get, sorry that I messed up my hair, you guys. I never had my hair down, so I just hate having my hair done my hair down but i was thinking of getting lipo because you could get lipo in 10 areas or 11 areas i believe so i could take fat out of my my freaking stomach take fat out of my back take fat out of my love handles and just have a curvy body but keep it natural like keep my butt natural um but just take out the fat areas you know i could do that but basically it's the same thing as getting a BBL, so I might as well just take the fat and put it in my boat and uh, getting that done. But I don't know, you guys, I'm still not sure if I want to do a BBL or if I just want to lipo the fat out of my body because I could do like my, my arms because my arms for sure, I want to get them lipo, you guys. If you don't know lipo, it's like a liposuction, so they take out, they suck out the fat out of your wherever you want or you need to suck it out from and y'all so like my arms they run big you guys me, like my family has really big arms and you can tell when we gain weight by the arms and our face first so i want to like go for sure my arms my back my tummy obviously and then my love handles and i don't know i think like my chin i don't know if that that's a procedure because that's like a face procedure. So I think that would be different. That would cost more, but I will do like my chin. It's not really bad. Like I don't think I have like a really bad double chin right now, but I don't know. I, I don't like whenever girls, like not to be me, but when I see a lot of girls that get their body done or whatever, and they still look big from their upper body. They still look big from their face because they did their body really pretty at the bottom, but obviously since they were, since they do have weight on them, you could tell on your face and at your shoulders. So I just feel like I would have to either get my boobies done to balance out my top chest to my bottom. It's just a whole lot of things that I think about whenever I wanna get my body done, you guys. But the first thing will for sure be my body, like my stomach area. Um, I don't really need a tummy tuck, you guys, because I don't have skin that's hanging from me having a baby or anything, like nothing like that. My body just, my panza just looks weird because whenever I have my gallbladder surgery, they had to stitch up my belly button, so it kind of looks weird. So that's the only thing, but I don't need to get a tummy tuck because I don't have loose skin that needs to be removed, if that makes sense. Like literally, all you have to do is just suck at the fat and my stomach will look flat. Like I will need to cut extra skin off. Um, but I don't know, I really don't know because I do think about having more kids, but obviously not right now. I do not want another kid right now. I'm good with my toddler, Abigail, she's good. She's about to turn four in January. So her birthday's coming up and I don't know, like I just feel like I'm already 21, I have my daughter, I already had a baby, so why not get my body done, you know? Because I really do not plan on having any more kids right now. But I don't know, that's just still something I'm thinking about. And if I'm gonna do it, so I still have like a year to save and get more information and do all of that but that's basically an update of everything that's been going on with me yeah oh guys this is the sasina hair extensions i am doing a video i am doing a video on these extensions in my in a couple of videos i believe um i still have to clip more in but i only have three in right now but look how pretty it looks and i did a video on them but they sent I got like 
I got the wrong extensions because they were like dark jet black and my hair is not jet black. It's more like a dark brown. So these match way better with my hair. Um, so I'm gonna do the other one. So I like to add mostly the extensions at the bottom because that's wherever my extra piece of hair comes out. Hair looks like. Um, I don't know if I want to straighten or curl it, but I'm not gonna do this in this video because it's already too long. Um, but yeah, you guys, I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video to get ready with me. I did share a couple things with y'all that I wanted to talk about. Um, and also why I haven't uploaded was because I've been moving. I've been trying to get everything situated, getting everything out of my mom's house and, you know, just getting stuff done here. But other than that, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.